Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the eTrailer polyurethane wheel chocks. Now, these wheel chocks I really, really like. These are going to be an excellent substitute for the old rubber style wheel chocks. These are much lighter, they're easier to handle, but they're just as durable. We've had sets of these around the shop here for years now that we've been using and other than may maybe being a little bit dirty, they're in excellent shape and they do a great job. It's a nice dense material, so there's not really any flex hardly or any give to it. But I like these in the sense that there's just enough flex to where you can see like the ribs here on the bottom. As a tire puts a little pressure on them, they dig in and they grip. Same thing with some of the T-treads that we see here. It just allows those grooves on our tires to get a bite. We don't have to worry about any slipping. On the back side, there's a nice handle there. As you get a good grip, slide it into position where you want it. Now these are available either in a single or you can see here, a two pack. I think that's an excellent solution for single axle trailers. We can put one in the front and one in the back to keep that movement to a minimum. On our tandem trailers, we can put them inside like this, front and back. And you'll notice the hole in the bottom of each of them. That allows us to very easily put a rope through. Once your rope comes through, you get a big flat washer to go on there and then just tie a knot in the rope pull it down, make it tight. So then you could have an easy grab handle. You just reach in there and grab it. Most of the time I see that done in pairs. So you'll have a rope through one, then coming through the other. That way you can place it down and in when you need to use it. Grab the rope and pull it, both of them will come out. And it also allows you to hang it to store. So I like that option. And working with customers on these, there have been zero complaints. Everybody really likes them. They're very strong, they're very durable compared to the rubber wheel chocks are going to be a much lighter thing to work with not as heavy to carry around and they don't leave any of the black marks that we sometimes get off of those rubber wheel chocks and they certainly don't smell uh, those, some of those rubber wheel chocks can have a heck of an odor to them also we have steel wheel chocks uh, the steel wheel chocks i think are okay for dockyards and things like that but as far as in a garage like this, they tend to chip your floor a little bit and do some scratching and some damaging there. So of all the wheel chocks I've handled and messed with, these are definitely the ones I like the most. They're going to be suited for just about any size tire, really. They're not too tall. They're not too short. I think they're just the ideal size, the ideal weight, and something I think you'll really like. Here's the example of the one that we've had out here for a few years, and you can see maybe it's not quite as bright as what it used to be but as far as the density everything is just identical just the same no wear and tear and we use these if not every day every other day up here inside and outside they just do a really good job i also like the coloring on them i like the high vis orange when you've got them in place they're very easy to see you're going to be less likely to forget about them and try to roll over them. But you're also going to be less, li less likely to leave them behind in campsites and situations like that. Generally, when you're pulling away from a campsite, at least I do, I always look in the mirror, make sure I didn't forget anything, make sure I didn't leave a kid behind. And these will really stand out. These are going to be bright and orange. And you should be able to see them and recognize that they're there and get them picked up.